Hello again, fellow Gears. <laughs> What's up? It's Maticon bringing you another Gears 5 video. This one is on a better way to shoot the overkill for more damage. I need to just quickly thank Cody for this one. I also need to say all of these damage numbers I'm showing you in this tutorial today are without Kate's Blood Resonance skill card and without her Laceration Bleed skill cards on any equipped. So to make these damage numbers more accurate. But with all of that said, let's do this. So I've seen a lot of people in public games when they play Kate or have an overkill, you spam down that right trigger as fast as you can to fire. Now you can see by all the ammunition hitting the wall here, how large of an area of effect that is. Um, and if you're just trying to shoot one enemy, it's not that effective. And this is without overkill stock single card on. Here is another example. With this time we have the overkill stock card on. And you can see spamming it down, it doesn't seem to do a whole lot to compare when you don't have that skill card on. So this is what we're showcasing here. When firing your overkill, if you press down and hold the right trigger for about a second or so-ish before you release it, you can see how much tighter of a spread you have as far as your ammunition and damage to enemies will be higher as well. And you do not need the overkill stock card on to get this tight spread. Now here we're going to give you some raw damage numbers when actually firing at enemies and of course this is without the overkill stock on and without bleed damage on. So here we go. And your damage can vary depending on exactly where you hit your enemy. And we're going to spam it down right here. And as you can see we did about 2835 in damage. Now here's another example with a drone enemy, and this is with the overkill stock card on. And I'm going to go ahead and spam that down. And as you can see, it does 2177 damage, which is only a difference of about 658 in damage when you spam it down. Now in this example, we're going to be holding down that right trigger for about a second or so-ish, and then releasing it for that tight spread. And again, this is no bleed damage and overkill stock card is off. And we're putting in the same full clip of overkill in him. He goes down and there you go. And that did about 6,325 in damage, which is about 3,490 difference or essentially almost double the damage versus just using the spam method. Another thing I need to mention is because the overkill has two rounds per cartridge, when using the overkill with the right trigger brief pause method, you essentially kind of turn 20 rounds into 40, which is awesome. One last thing though, is if you're up close and personal to a boss, it doesn't really matter if you spam the right trigger down or you use the tight spread shooting method. They both do about the same amount of damage to the boss. In this case, it was about 881 damage difference between the two. But with that, that wraps up this overkill damage tutorial. And as always, enjoy it, everybody. Thank you.